Hello there and welcome into the third annual Hartman's Volleyball Media Day. My name is Jillian Carroll. I'm your host today. Typically, you can find me on KCTV5 on the morning show, but I am so excited because next up for Heart Media Day is the host school for the 2024 NAIA Men's Volleyball National Tournament. Of course, that's Mount Mercy University. I'm joined with head coach Austin Filer, also joined with Akil Oxley today. Coach Akil, how are you guys doing? We're doing good. How are you? Doing great. Thank you. Pretty good. Excited to hear how pumped you guys are. Um, so coach, let's just dive in. We have to just talk about this. You're playing host to the biggest event. Um, how excited are you, the program, your staff, everybody to host the 2024 NAIA men's volleyball national tournament in April? Yeah, I think it's just a tremendous opportunity for us. The guys have been really excited. The staff is is getting really excited as well. And we're looking forward to hopefully getting an opportunity to play down at the Cell Center downtown and having an opportunity to compete for a national championship. Love that. Okay, you kind of talked about it a little bit, but talk about the venue, if you don't mind, um, and just kind of other elements that are part of the tournament. Yeah, I'm, I'm a little bit biased. I used to coach high school back in the day. So uh, the last time I was in that building was actually when we won a state championship. So it's got some great memories for, for me personally, but it's a great atmosphere. It's connected to an amazing hotel right downtown. So it's walkable for everything, just a great venue. And I think once people see it, they're just going to fall in love with it, how intimate it is and how kind of the crowd is right on top of everything. So it's going to be a great op opportunity for the NAI to showcase men's volleyball. Love that. Maybe some foreshadowing that you've already been there and been successful. Maybe maybe that's a good sign for you guys. Very cool. Well, let's hear about the squad and let's start with Akil. What does he bring to the team this year? Yeah, I think Akil is one of the most dynamic players in the country. Um, we uh, got as high as seventh in the country last year when he was healthy and he came down with an injury that unfortunately kept him out until our very final game of the year. But um, he is um, someone that can do a little bit of everything from serve, receive, uh, dynamic hitter, blocker, everything. So definitely one of the top players in the country and then a phenomenal leader as well. So someone we're really looking to get back into the lineup and have healthy for the first time in a very long time. Yeah. All right, Akil, I've got to hear from you then. Um, how are you feeling coming back from an injury? Do you feel like you've got a little bit of extra motivation there? Yeah, I think I have a little bit of extra motivation. I think last season it was kind of unfortunate to go down, but I'm just playing it out behind me and I'm ready to fight with the team and hopefully win some games. Love that. How um how are how excited are you and your teammates about hosting such a big event? Well, we're just honestly grateful for the opportunity to host the event, obviously, and try to play and compete for a national championship is a goal of ours, and we're just thankful for that opportunity. Yeah. All right. What do you love about being a student athlete? Um, To be honest, I just like the, I just like the grind, to be honest, to be able to get up. I have the opportunity a lot of kids don't have, so I'm just thankful for that. Yeah. Spoken like a true competitive athlete. I love that. Um, Coach, let's talk a little bit about this year's team. Uh, what have you liked so far that you've seen in preseason? Yeah, this is definitely one of our deepest teams we've had so far. And we returned the majority of our starters uh, off of last year's group. And then we had some uh, tremendous freshman players that are that are new to the team and really contributing at a high level. Um, our practice gym is more competitive than it's ever been. We're deeper than we've ever been. We've got a lot of competitions at different positions. And we're playing better volleyball right now than we've ever played before. So I think the, the coaching staff and the players are just just really excited to get out there for the first time. We're tired of playing each other. And I think we're looking forward to playing somebody a little bit different. That's like the hard part with preseason, right? It's like, okay, yeah. give me another team to play. Um, all right. Well, obviously, Akil is coming back from injury. So that's kind of like a, a an injection of fresh legs there. But talk a little bit about other newcomers. Yeah, so some newcomers to the team. We have a uh, tremendous outside hitter, Colin Casano from France, that's joining our team. Johan Schopstedt from Germany, who's also joining the team. And then uh, Akil's uh, cousin, uh, Ashe Oxley, is actually joining the team as well and was a tremendous player as well. So the there's a lot of talent inside of the gym, and it's, it's young talent that we're going to have to develop and get used to. But there's a ton of new players that have really jumped in and, and are joining and, and doing a great job. Very cool. Well, Akil, um, you know, something I love so much about sports is that it brings people from all walks of life together. And it sounds like that is, you know, there's proof in your roster of that with you just mentioned a French player, German player yourself. Talk to us about how you hope to build camaraderie uh, with your teammates and how important that is for success in the matches. 
Honestly, just doing everything together from going to the calf after training, stretching, that tends to build a bond between the team and the teammates that's just good for on the court, just gets us all together and stuff like that. Yeah, cool. Can you talk a little bit about your experience at Mount Mercy? Um, what does it mean to wear the uniform and represent the Mustangs? Well, when I came Mount Mercy, I transferred from my previous university in search of a greater balance between a good volleyball program and academics. And so far at Mount Mercy, it have just been that. I think I've really got that balance. So yeah. I'm pretty good here at Mount Mercy. Awesome. And coach, can you talk to us a little bit about your volleyball journey? When did you start playing? And then uh, when did you start coaching? Yeah, uh, Iowa volleyball isn't necessarily the most popular. So I grew up as a basketball player and then uh, picked up volleyball when I was about 17, 18 years old, actually. And I competed uh, professionally on the beach for a few years as a sand volleyball player and then got into coaching at a very young age, fell in love with it and coached everything from guys to girls, college, high school, a little bit of everything. So um, definitely found the right fit. And when I got the call to come back to Mount Mercy, it was uh, an, an opportunity and a great one. And uh, we're really excited to be back here. Very cool. Coach, let's talk a little bit about the heart. So the the quality of volleyball is top notch, right? Um, there's no there's no secret there. Can you talk a little bit about just the respect that the teams have for each other? Um, of course, on the floor, but also like coach to coach when you have such a competitive group. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's, it's no doubt that these are some of the top teams in the country and some of the top coaches in the country as well. And it's so great to see um, how well they do at the national tournament, how well they do against uh, NAIA teams, but also division one teams as well. So we're really blessed to compete against some of the best teams in the country and some of the best coaches in the country. And I think there's definitely a lot of respect there as everyone realizes they have to get better to be able to stay competitive inside of the, the, the conference. And one thing I have seen in the last couple of years is that, iron definitely sharpens iron and each of the teams have gotten better and it becomes harder and harder every single night to be able to get out with a, a W. Love that. Love that. Uh, Keel, one more for you. You know, you're just kind of weeks away from the season. Just how excited are you and how are you feeling? Um, honestly, I'm very excited for the season. Like coach said, we are kind of tired playing ourselves and we just want to get out there and get that just feeling on, on game time, honestly. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. Well, guys, I wish you the best of luck. Thanks for taking some time to participate in Media Day today and all eyes on you this season. Best of luck. Thanks again. Thank you. Thank you.